All right, everybody, PA Tuners here, and we got the build engine in the mistress. We finally got back up here messing with it. Uh, thought I had time lapse on, but uh, no, I didn't. So this is where we're at right now. Engine in, uh, post mount on, air rams on, injectors are not in yet because we got the 1000s in the silver car. And I'm going to pull those out, put in here, put the MS-1 back in here and start this car up until I get a hold of the guy that I'm going to have tune it and have him set me up a base map for a Beta 2, which he's tuned. Not a Beta 2, I'm sorry about that. Megascore 2, uh, which he has uh, tuned one of those before. So hopefully maybe I can give him my dead times for my injectors a little bit of other information and maybe we can get a startup tune to start with the MS2. A couple people sent me some. They're just total total trash tunes. Um, they're not even tunes. They're just throwing together garbage. So I need to get somebody to give me something, you know what I mean, that works. And if you guys got something that works, well, I'll give you my email and email it to me. You know. Um, but yeah, we got that done. Right now, we're going to clean out the thermostat housing, get it cleaned out, put a new thermostat in it. Um, we got a new thermostat somewhere over here. Yeah, here we go. We got everything that we need right there. I'm just using some Felpro garbage. Um, I'm gonna fill pro garbage in what that's about, but so thermostat sealant. I bought a, some more of that that I didn't realize I had. And then I use these fail saves. Just I don't know. I change them all the time. I like them because they just stick them open instead of stick closed. So at least with stuck open, you ain't gonna ruin a you know eight thousand dollar engine. You know, this is a freaking eight thousand dollar long block. A uh, little reminder: some of you might not have been around when this is being done, or some of you are new. A lot of you are mostly old. Not not too many people new watch the channel, but this has BC cams in it, which are uh, custom grind cams. We got that in it. We got uh, Fiera valve springs and titanium retainers. Um, we are still using the stock OEM Hyundai valves, which in Korea, they have been 800 plus horsepower many a times. Uh, the, the most power they ever made in the Korea with a beta was a thousand horsepower and they use stock valves in that. This is basically set up just like the thousand horsepower beta in Korea was. He's friends with me and we've talked a good bit over the years and this is a similar setup. Uh, mine's higher compression. I got a lot of different goals than what they did. Theirs was done a long time ago. And like I said, BC cams, regrinds, Fiera valve springs, retainers. Uh, as you guys can see, port job done by my friend. Intake side too, which is you can't see now, but port job done on this to help flow. Some of this shit, these heads don't flow for shit. So hopefully these head that's ported now and those cams are really going to help. And then the bottom end, we got powder rods, X-beam rods. They should be good for 1,200 horsepower. And then custom cut 10 to 1 CP pistons. And then we have the block O-ringed with copper uh, fire ring and that's not fire ring copper seal ring fire rings a little different um, and just OEM timing components um, new balancer stock OEM balancer uh, boundary oil pump gear in this we didn't shim the pump um, we may try to do that when we Try to push a thousand horsepower. Uh, this car is still going to be ran on the street this year. Um, 
Goals to run nine seconds. Uh, we're not even going to run a quarter mile until we know we're going to run nine. Um, there's no gauge in the car. But uh, we're going to run eighth mile this year, and we're just going to just work it until we get the eighth mile down. Uh, a 6-3 in the eighth should be like a 9-8, 9-7, 9-9, depending on the 60-foot. Um, one six sixty foot should get you a 9-8. So, you know what I mean? Even if we went one at one seven, we should do a nine nine at a six two. Um, Just something I figured tell you guys about, and uh, we use BRD solid mounts. These things are sweet; they work pretty good. Uh, we got a new cross member too this year. New cross member. Uh, step eight colder plugs in this right now um <clears throat> the fuel pump is going to be our problem this year that 525 it's either going to make between six and 700 horsepower to the wheel i'm hoping for at least 650 maybe 700 that would be nice um i have a feeling we only need about six to run a nine i think that's about all we need we were close to five Ran a 10.7 on bald slicks with like a 1.860 foot. So, I think we're right around 450. If you do the math with everything with the car weighs and whatnot, it was probably around that. But, uh, yeah. I'm not sure if, uh, what all we're going to get done here. So, I'm just going to clean that. And I don't think you guys want to watch that on time lapse. So, I'm going to clean that. And then uh, I'll come back to you once it's clean and. It will stick it on there. I don't know. I might just today just make a little video like this, put it up, show you guys what's going on, and then do time lapse and videos throughout the rest of the progress. Uh, we also have something else to show you today as well. And a uh, big part of the reason why this hasn't been in here already. But, all right, guys. This might be where we let off, might not.